Hey guys, so we're going to be playing um, the fifth game in this May 7 Blitz session. So I'm 3 1, won three games, uh, lost one. Lost one I shouldn't have, but probably won three I shouldn't have as well. So let's see what we're going to do in this game, playing this uh, Sicilian. And here actually, I usually like to. Huh, I've never seen this before. Let's play this... No. C3 is a good move because now they have the light squared potential forever. I need to decide... Let's play this. They have to take or else... Uh... Yeah, or else they'd be really just... Uh losing a lot in terms of uh, development and now I guess this move and try to go for this if possible which is something they're allowing kind of shocking to be honest um, actually they're also allowing this which I should have played okay now now you know the thing is <laughs> I'm saying I should play it but like no, I think I have better chances not playing this, actually. Believe it or not. Yeah, I have better chances not playing this. Because now I have this. And this is just losing. Actually, maybe, maybe I have the Greek gift immediately, right? Taking, check. Yeah, why not? Yeah, seems good. Seems good. And the chicken hood. Whoa, this is insane. I just have this. What are they doing? Whoa. How am I not punishing this kind of play? Okay, I guess I go here simply. Mm. Is there any reason to go for something else? I don't think so. Ah, maybe I have this, right? Threatening mate and the bishop. Okay, I need to speed up. Okay, this is very simple to convert or should be. Okay, <laughs> they resign. Yeah. Okay, I guess uh, still lucky to be honest to win like this. Um, so I, I felt like I had something to say, but I forgot. I guess maybe about the opening a bit. Yeah, I like explicate the opening. So... Um, <laughs> Whoa. Nice graph, nice graph. <laughs> Let's see where we must up. Probably Oh the the angel likes a five! Hey Awesome! <laughs> I'm proud to have found that. Okay. So normal Siciliano with E6, my favorite. So usually this nine, four knights with E6. It's becoming very popular, which is downright shocking to me. <laughs> like the theory, in the like when I started playing it in 2014, I think I actually played the bad version of it in 2012 because I didn't know um, what to what to play. Um, but yeah, so it's downright shocking how popular this is becoming with Anish Giri and Fabiano Caruana picking it up actually Fabiano Caruana so today is May 7, 2022 as I've mentioned the Blitz session and uh, Fabiano Caruana just in the first round of the Super Bet in Budapest uh, Blitz uh, uh, classical tournament he played it as well so anyway, I've mentioned this opening so much in my videos. I have a classical game, or many classical games actually in it. On video, I think it's only one though. Yeah. 
So just not going to dive too deeply anyway they take here which isn't such a great move now with knight d2 it's also quite interesting usually someone who goes for the bishop d3 set up castling and uh, like i play here and uh, they go here knight f6 usually some people like to play this kind of setup not a four immediately of course like queen e2 here and bishop e7 and usually against this setup actually i don't castle immediately like if they, they play something like bishop f4 or b3 let's say uh, no b3 actually ruins what I'm, I was going to show so let's say they play bishop f4 I usually go for this aiming to do this now actually against bishop f4 in particular <laughs> maybe it's not the best idea um, against what do I usually face this oh they play knight c3 right they play knight c3, I go bishop e7, they go th here, and I go here now. No, but this loses. Oh god, why can't I remember? <laughs> you guys got my point though, right? Okay, actually, you know what I can do? Leeches is marvelous, guys. I can just check my own games. So this might... Hmm. There you go. Actually, what? Only 34 games with bishop d3. Ah, you know what? I'm confusing my... No, no, this is the right line, right? Ah, actually, I played knight... Usually, I don't play knight... Oh. <laughs> Usually, what happens is this... Yeah, now I remember, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is what usually happens. And here they go for b3 and I go here. Just trying to stop or even a 4 here. And I don't castle because I don't want to allow any of these sacrifices even though the engine says it's the right move. I play this trying to take off the light squared bishop. So actually what ended up happening in the game as I kind of confused myself. So here, usually they still play bishop d3, which is actually, you can see from my personal opening explo explorer. Um, but yeah, with knight d2, it kind of morphs into something else, but still. Like here, I had the option of playing this, but the problem is exactly, or as they played, or exactly c4. And I have uh, some problems to solve in the center because I'm not castled. So I need to castle here. This, this. Which is kind of annoying because they have the sacrifice ideas and this kind of idea. Though here I wasn't really afraid. I wanted to play this but the engine thinks it's too weakening on the dark squares. Which it usually is. But I thought I had like some bishop g5. The engine is changing its mind about queen h6. So queen e2. Alright, that seems reasonable. So, c3. Yeah, c3. So, yeah, c4 just attacks the center. c3 is a bit passive, it makes sense. And f5 is basically the only move. Now, you see, if I play something like this, they just go back, even bishop c2. And this kind of pressure is not something I would like to deal with, especially with this bishop. It's difficult to see where it's going in the game. So this would have been bad and I, I'm bad at defending exactly these types of positions. So f5 was a good move. And now if they don't take, they play around it or something. I'm extremely happy of course. I play this, their bishop isn't going to attack anything. So almost everyone takes. Not even just on anarchy chess. <laughs> ah, with the bishop. That makes a lot of sense. Now, this seems like a pawn hanging, but I just go here. It's still a pawn hanging, though. I guess I'm sacrificing. Yeah, of course, with the two bishops in a reasonably reasonably open position, this kind of sacrifice is fun. fine. And actually something I would always go for had I known like this was possible. So knight takes f6, I just want to defend, is the thing. But yeah, knight f3, and they control e5. This is what I was expecting. But instead, they go queen f3, which is... Now, uh, e5, 
e5, rook takes e5, bishop d6, and going for the attack, as happened in the game basically. So the engine sees that even queen e2 is necessary because giving up the the exchange because otherwise white is just getting checkmated, I guess. So yeah, this makes sense. E5, but yeah, actually I didn't spot this. I would have spotted it a move later after bishop d6. But actually I'm glad I didn't because here after takes, takes and takes. Um, of course I'm completely winning, but it's kind of annoying to play this position. I might have lost. Especially I wasn't so... Oh, actually no, the time was fine here. But yeah, I, I with commentary it's difficult. <laughs> So bishop d6, reasonable move, I would say. And now they just allow... Like, this is so slow going for b3, bishop. So slow. Obviously, when I get this, I'm threatening the fork. And more important, importantly, after I push, I have these two strong bishops. So this is basically what happened. Actually, I wanted to just play it slowly, but there was no need, apparently. What I did was fine with the Greek gift. I would have expected to take, I would have expected them to take and try their luck with this one, but yeah, this is exactly what I saw, and, uh, ah, okay, there's a way to mate, ah, okay, <laughs> right, easy, h6 isn't mate, rook f5 isn't mate, uh, sorry, uh, queen h6 is mate, yeah, okay, and here, yeah, I saw queen d6, I saw queen d6, I'm just getting myself confused, I saw that in the game. So they couldn't have tried that on this, uh... yeah, so they have to play this. I was act yeah, in the game I expected this, and I would have, no, I wouldn't have went here. Yeah, I thought about this, but didn't really have a move in mind, now I can see that after this. And taking, I just have this. And this is, of course, a big threat. Let's say they play whatever. This is mate. So, yeah, they were really nonchalant about this. And I'm glad I found knight g4. Now, I was a bit annoyed because of this. And here they have check to let the bishop escape. But at the same time... Ah, yeah, I have queen of six picking up the bishop anyway. And at the same time, like, the I, I didn't see queen of six checking this knight, but um, the king is just so open. It's much better than the, the other queen sack position we were taking a look at, which was when queen of three was played, and this one. Yeah, this one is a bit more difficult to play because the king is reasonably safe, and... Yeah. Um... So, what ended up happening though is they played f3, another weakening move. And I'm glad I found queen b6 after almost 30 seconds of, uh, of thinking. So, yeah, that was good. Actually, an overall very good session. I'm at 25.14, my rating right now. Um, if you guys want, I can't show you my rating. Let me memorize something to make it clear here, okay. So 2514, and I started at 2500. So it's very, very nice, very nice session. Can't complain at all. Gaining some of them rating points. Yeah, and a pretty good game actually. Um, they didn't play so well, but at least I converted. So yeah. Alright guys, so for uh, that's it for this video, and I'm closing off this session, May 7, 2022, 4 wins, 1 loss, um, good results so far, even though I got a bit lucky in some of the games, but I'm not so, uh, I'm not so unhappy about my play. Alright guys, with that, I wish you uh, farewell, take care, bye.